All right, I told you we'd be back. I'm Jason Salas. I continue to be Jason Salas. In for my friend Sonia Artero, who continues to enjoy a very, very well-deserved vacation. And tonight we're going to talk about dancing. Now, the Baila Society, or BASU, is a private organization promoting the art and sophistication of salsa throughout the planet through partnerships with leading dance schools and performers, award-winning musicians, charities, research companies, and international media. Now, together with her dance partner, Daniel Eskett, Atoy Wanpat Borja founded the dance company Baila Society, combining her extensive dance training and unique teaching skills to promote salsa as a sophisticated art form. And it's our extreme pleasure here at KUM to have them both in studio. Now, for those of you who may not remember, Atoy, who is originally from Guam, has performed in different productions locally, performing for the Guam Ballet Arts Theater, the Guam Symphony Society, and in Guam's most memorable productions, such as The Nutcracker, The Emperor, and The Nightingale, the King and I, West Side Story, Once Upon This Island. Her resume is very, very well deserved, I should say, <laughs> as well as many other musical reviews. I was in Kids to the Rescue. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that's about as much theatrical experience as I have. Well, welcome to you and welcome to our two guests, Daniel and Atoy. Thanks so much for being Thank with you. us tonight. Thanks Thank for you. having us. All right, and of course, if Miss Atoy may look a little bit familiar, you may remember it was one week ago today on this very program. We had our brother Melvin, who was here for the Poetry Slam. And we had that clip up on KUM.com, and it was very, very well received. So an incredibly talented family you have. <laughs> We're very proud of Melvin. Okay. And I'm sure he's very proud of you as well. I hope so. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, well, let's just talk like about you first and everything. Because, of course, you know, uh, you are from Guam and everything. And how did you get into such a sophisticated and, I would venture to say, maybe a niche style of dancing? Because it's not too popular out here in the main street. No, not yet. Mm -hmm. But I started here with ballet with John Grensbeck. He was the director of Body Arts Dance School here in Guam. He was married to Megan Murphy and they ran that school together. And he was actually a star ballet dancer um, from some famous companies in New York and in Houston. And he trained me for a career in ballet. Um, and it was actually quite a privilege to have him uh, here in Guam. So later on when I was, it was time to go auditioning, I decided instead to go to college at Columbia University in New York, and instead nice. I, uh, I went into competitive ballroom. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I discovered salsa, and it's not yet popular here, but it's actually very, very popular all over the world. And I've actually been able to have some of my um, most gratifying professional experiences in salsa mm -hmm. because it's taken me all over the world to perform and teach. Mm -hmm. Now, your mother, of course, um, Senator Judy Wanpat, was my elementary school vice principal and I know as a lifelong educator she's probably pleased as punch just to have you even consider the Ivy League so yes yeah I think she was more thrilled about college than ballet at the time but then she was like when are you gonna get back on stage mm -hmm. so here I am I was really excited to have the opportunity to perform here in Guam okay well Daniel let's talk about maybe um, your background and how you got into the arts well you know for me it was not quite as uh, as, as um long uh, a dance career as, as Antois, who uh, is much more the professional and is the one that takes the lead on many of the artistic uh, elements of our, our uh, company. For me it was, um, I was, my father was an actor and um, I spent my teenage years performing sort of um, local theater and uh, doing plays there, but not so much dancing. Um, I really got into that when um, I went to New York Mm -hmm. and uh, did the typical New York thing, working 24-7. And one night after work, we went to this uh, co-worker of mine and myself, we went to uh, this Cuban bar uh, in New York called Nels. And uh, this, you have to picture it as a, this long mahogany uh, bar and uh, five old Cuban uh, men playing uh, salsa and playing rumba. And uh, it, feel, it felt very, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, but then we heard music downstairs. So we went downstairs. And there was actually a DJ playing salsa. And um, I saw what I've never seen in New York before. People were so passionate about this. And what you saw was on uh, two sides of the room. On the one room, it was just people getting up. They, and you could see that they never danced before. But they were enjoying themselves so much, uh, just letting go of the day and relaxing and using it as a venting mechanism from work. Mm -hmm. uh, but then on the other side of the room, uh, you saw probably uh, 50 or 80 percent of the most uh, well-known salsa dancers throughout the world and they it was it was art to see them it was almost perfection um, and I was just stunned it was really um, awe-inspiring and it actually reminded me a couple of days ago Otto and I went um, to the south mm -hmm. to do a hike down um, I don't remember where it was but it was a beautiful little piece of, of uh, Guam and a couple of friends told me the story of the flying proa mm -hmm. and um, one of the friends mentioned that it was just shooting 
across the ocean. You have to picture when the first people, you know, first uh, people came to Guam and saw uh, the flying proa shooting across the ocean, how fast it was and how beautiful it was to, to see it. Um, but then considering the, the skill, the craftsmanship, and, and um, the knowledge you have to have to actually create something like that. And it reminded me, you know, everyone has a, a concept of perfection, but when I saw people dancing there, it was just total harmony between people that never even met each other. Uh, just through the dance, so it was. I was hooked then, and uh, we started dancing and met, and uh, you know, that's how we started the company. Well, let me just say because both of you uh, got your experience and cut your teeth in New York City, there is nothing, or I should say, few things more noble as a struggling artist in New York City trying to make it, <laughs> holding down a full-time day job, and then also trying to make it in the craft that they want to pursue. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll tell you what, we are going to take a very quick commercial break. Well, when we come back, we're actually going to see Daniel and Atoy in action. That's coming up later on the program. But next, we'll find out exactly why they're here on Guam and how you can benefit from their love of dance. You're watching KUAM.